The Edelman Trust Barometer 2012 finds that the level of skepticism in the world is growing. The big change this year is the fall in trust in government. That in fact we now have more than half the countries with under 50 percent trust in government. It's important to see that it is a sense both on operational as well as engagement and societal that government has lost the mandate to lead. That in fact the parents have taken the keys away for the car that uh, really was entrusted to government after the crisis of 2008-2009. Really a function of the paralysis in the United States, um, the problems on EU bailout in the European Union, as well as corruption issues in India and Brazil. We also see this year that while business trust is largely stable, there are some important warning signs. The trust in CEOs has absolutely plummeted from the fourth most trusted to the seventh most trusted spokesperson, 50% to 38%. Only below are government officials at 29%. The new normal is now academics, technical experts, but also a person like yourself, which had a remarkable rebound, and regular employees who are now third and fourth in terms of trusted spokespeople. In a world of skepticism, we now find also that a, a person needs to see a story three to five times before achieving belief. Further, we see an absolute clear signal that government is underperforming, but yet there's a desire for further government regulation. In more than half the countries surveyed, 50 percent or more people say they believe that more government regulation is needed for business. The other thing that's critical is that the operational factors for business, which are, for instance, new products, making the numbers, top chief executive, are good only in yielding trust to those who are oriented to trust business. They give you an operational level of trust, current trust. Future trust is premised on societal and engagement factors. So our theory then forward is that business should orient not just to license to operate, but to license to lead. And in order to achieve that, business has to address the critical issues of our time, such as fracking, or fees on financial products. Further, business has to move away from the guardrails to adopt a idea of principled leadership as opposed to rules-based leadership. Business must also address people who are unusual stakeholders for their mentality. Go beyond the regulators. Go beyond the investors. Talk first to the employees and adopt radical transparency. Be sure that you're talking not just theoretically, but quantitatively about what you've achieved in supply chain as well as in your sales and numbers.